Gamers, what is going on everybody? Welcome back again to another live stream. My name is Loco. Oh, good to have you here all oh, once more on the channel. Welcome everybody. Hope you're doing all right. Right at the 600 second mark. Yeah, what do you guys think of my starting stream scene right over here? It looks good, right? I think it looks really pretty. I'm very happy with how this thing turned out. Yeah, put in a lot of effort. In case you're wondering where your subscription money is going, I think you got your answer. I think you've got your answer. I do indeed have a new clean tile, a brand new bathroom tile, because the previous one got smudged up a little bit last time that I streamed a little bit of painting. It's been a little bit. Anyways, guys, welcome back. Lenny is here too. Hi, quality Lenny on the stream. You love to see it. Good morning, everyone. Ah, it feels good to be streaming, man. Guys, I did not stream on my own channel. I did not stream on my own channel, right? Get this. For two days. Two entire days. What the heck? I know. I know. You thought I lost my passion. Now, for what it's worth, I was streaming, of course, on the... Official ESL channel because we were casting a ton of StarCraft 2 with the new spring season that just started So I did stream for like 15 to 20 hours or so. It, it was wild but um A little tired today. I'm not gonna lie. I'm feeling a little bit tired. Where is my twitch jet on the screen by the way? Uh, so I'm running a different setup as you may have already noticed. I've talked about this a bunch over the last couple of streams. Oh No, I ruined it pick it I ruined it! The notification didn't go off! Hold up, I'm gonna try and repeat it. That is insane, actually. A casual 120 month resub. That's insane. Hold up, I gotta try and fix my chat. Where where is my chat? Where where are you guys? How do I refresh things on oh no. I think OBS updated itself overnight and now my uh, notifications are not working. Uh, let me see. Chat box. Refresh. Found it. Can you guys test if it works? Hey, there we go. Very nice. And then I'm also gonna refresh the alert box and try and see if I can repeat Mr. Pickett's notification. Let's all pretend that this is the first time it popped up, okay? Bro, 10 years. Pickett, that is absurd. Thank you very much. That is exceptionally generous of you. That is such a long time sub. You are one of the longest running subs on the channel. I think I've had a sub button. Wait, you guys didn't have a notification sound? Oh, dude, why is it always so messy? Ay, ay, ay. I'm trying to get this stream to work properly, guys. Wait, do you guys not have any audio playing in the background right now at all either? Ah, uh, you know the issue? I think I know the issue. It's these headphones. You guys do hear music? Wait, what? You hear music, you see the notification, but you don't hear the notification? How do you guys only hear the music but not the notification? That is kind of crazy. I can try and have a little peek and see if I can figure this out. Uh, hold up, let me try and repeat Mr. Pickett once again. Happy 10 year Does anniversary. Does that work? Looking forward to the next 10. So that works, but I don't hear it now. <laughs> like now I don't hear it. <laughs> okay, I've got a different setup to do a little bit of streaming from guys. I have my laptop set up over here and it uh, does not run Windows. So I, I have some weird quirks that I run into here that seem to cause some issues. But if you guys can if you guys can hear it, I guess that's the most important thing. Yeah. Hey, thank you very much, Pickett, once again. And thank you also for just the casual 10 community sub gifts. <sighs> so you know what the issue is? Apparently macOS does not allow you 
to do a audio capture of your desktop. So normally in OBS, what you do is you set your desktop audio and you set your microphone audio and that's kind of it. But apparently there are some security settings that's basically preventing that. So you can install like third party software that would fix that issue, but it gets confusing. Just to speak nerd for a little bit, but yeah. Luckily the answer is simple, just build another $4,000 computer. No, 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 we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. Why don't they have a mustache? That's a good idea, man. It would help, I guess, it's like a, like a sound dampening, you know? Pretty good idea. Do you guys hear that? Was it really worth $1,000? Thank you, game on for the 71. Was it really worth $1,000? Absolutely, man. It definitely was. So it's funny, I do not hear it now, but I guess it's okay. As long as you guys can hear it, it's fine. I will try and fix this later. Um, but um, it certainly does get a little bit messy. Ah, it's okay. I think it's all right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. If only we had some professional streamers to ask. Yeah, to fix these problems. I know. How's the music volume today, guys? Are we all right? Is everything okay? Probably is fine. So, um, it's loud? Is the music loud? Okay, I can definitely lower it. Uh, 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 Music is a little high for me. Okay, cool. How's that? Is that better? Um, so I bought a specific microphone for this streaming setup. It came in a couple of days ago. I tested it out for about 45 minutes. Before I switch back to this microphone you're listening to right now. You know what? I like the sound of this. <laughs> I had this separate dedicated microphone for audio and I, I, I messed around with the settings for ages and for some reason this sounds better. Yeah. So this is literally to clarify my phone. You guys are listening to my phone's microphone and it works like a charm. It works surprisingly well. Um, I did get rid of my laundry behind me. So I don't know if the echo because of that has increased. Do you guys hear more echo than the last stream I did from this room? I, I put away my... Um, is a little bit of echo? Is it not too bad? So I, uh, I had my laundry hanging in the background last time around and it seemed to have reduced the echo, but it's not too bad? Okay. All right. Well, fair enough. Um, happy to hear that, guys. So today we are starting up our first proper stream project, okay? Look at this, absolutely magnificent looking, definitely not an Ultralisk inspired. Actually, I think the, mm, the Ultra probably has been inspired by this thing instead. Anyways, we have a Tyranid Screamer Killer that I am very excited to paint. Um, in case you've never seen me paint anything before on stream, it's because I have been doing this for two months. <laughs> For some reason, I, I, I tend to get pretty obsessive whenever I get new hobbies. And um, I have consumed a lot of Warhammer content over the last couple of months, but it's only really been about two months since I've started painting. I am definitely not great, but I'm gonna try my best. And I'm really looking forward to seeing if I can do a good job of this particular model. <sighs> yeah, I have seen pictures of the old Screamer Killer. It's actually kind of hilarious because it's very obvious that the Brood War units, maybe not very obvious, but quite obvious that the Brood War units were inspired. Or the Starcraft 1 units were inspired by the, the, the Warhammer ones. I mean, this is basically an Ultralisk on two legs. Right? It's a little different. But it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like uh, evolution, you know? Like the Ultralisk and the, I guess, Screamer Killer then in this case. They've kind of like, they've got a common ancestor and they've kind of gone off into separate directions. You've been watching Warhammer lore videos? Dude, it is kind of fascinating, isn't it? I've been really liking it. Arcturus, thank you for the three year resub, man. Very nice. Um, so this is a mini that was, well, it's a mini technically, but it's a, uh, a miniature, a rather large one that was sent over to me by Dialan. 
This is a mini that you can't actually separately buy anymore. I really was interested in getting this thing, but they don't sell it as like a, I think you have to get the box, but the box is no longer for sale. I don't really know the, 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 the exact, anyways, long story short, he put a bit of a, uh, a base on it too. So look at that, there's like a marine looking guy. And he has got his uh, guts hanging out of him. So I don't know if you guys can properly see that, but like there's a bunch of like strings of stuff that we're gonna have to paint as well. Plus there's an arm over here in the distance that I'm also gonna have to paint up. Yeah, this is honestly a really, really nicely. Uh, there's also one more thing over here in the back, look, like another, another chess piece. But anyways, really neat. I'm really excited for this. The only thing, <laughs> that I'm a little concerned for guys is that I am not good enough to do this this model justice I'm a little afraid that my Okay, my painting skills are not 50 months quite good enough entertainment. Thank you very much irrefutable Fox for the casual 50 months From Dialan art. Yeah, so Dialan is a stream viewer. He's been here for a very long time and I randomly picked up this hobby, completely unrelated, uh, a couple months ago at this point. And he apparently... He's Dutch, I knew that. But he, uh, he's a full-time miniature painter. Which is kind of sick. So he had a bunch of stuff laying around that he wasn't going to paint up. And he asked if he could send it to me. So he also sent me some spare paints that he has... Um, yeah, that he had lying around. So really cool, honestly, man. I love this so much about this community we have over here on Twitch and, and you know, everywhere else. It's honestly so much fun. <sighs> Any examples of what I have painted so far? So I'm currently working on Usheron. Uh, this has kind of become like my off-stream uh, project. I have a couple of things. Hold on, I can show you. So this is this is one that I finished um, pretty recently. I've been trying my best to really improve, and I've been obsessively watching tons of YouTube videos about it. Um, I think this one turned out pretty damn good. And then the largest mini that I have finished so far is this one. It's Indrasta from the Stormcast. I'm actually very happy with how she turned out. Not quite as tidy as it could have been, but like... You know, you can see a couple of smudges over there, for example, where like the white meets the red and stuff. But overall... Um, yeah, I think I think it turned out pretty good. I like I like some of the... The fading I've managed to do on the on the feathers over here. In general, I'm I'm pretty yeah pretty happy with how that one turned out too. So we're trying we're trying to improve. The only thing is to put it in perspective. This guy is freaking huge. <laughs> He's so massive. So I don't know, man. I'm a little I'm a little afraid. I'm not gonna be able to do him justice, but I will uh, try my best. You can live over here. You guys can live over here. I also have this one to paint up. I also did prime it, so I built this on stream a couple days ago. Uh, this is a, uh, a dragon, also from the Stormcasty Turtle. That'll be the next project after this one. But um, we'll start with the uh, the Tyranid today. I think it's okay. I left the door open, but my cats are pretty chill. I put a little a little cat bed right over here on this chair. Don't know if any cat is gonna join us today, but... Loki, you can do him justice. I'm gonna try my best, bro. Um, so, I'm gonna be following along since I am pretty dang new to this. And I, this is usually the way that I learn things in general. I'm gonna be following along with a YouTube tutorial. From a dude called the War Hipster. I love this guy's videos, very fun, and just in general, very informative. So I'm gonna try and basically, I have, I think most of the paints that he uses, I didn't wanna go out and buy more paints. Um, although I had to get one more additional purple, because basically the default color scheme is very purple, but um, I really like the way that this guy does his videos and just in general, the way he paints. So I'm gonna try and basically follow this step for step. That's the, that's the goal. So we'll basically follow this along one little bit at a time. So this is the end result that we're aiming for. 
If I can do 80% as good a job, like that looks so good, dude. That's so sick. Yeah. So he uses a lot of contrast paints. And contrast paints can be a little bit finicky sometimes, but this is, uh, this is what we're aiming for here today. Well, today, mm, don't think we're gonna get that far. Yeah, today is a little ambitious. I don't have all of the paints, but I have most of them. And I'm gonna probably make some small adjustments here and there. But... Alright. Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here. Come... Guys, be nice, say hello. You with another hello, hello War Hipster. Painting tutorial, and today we are painting the all new, the all new improved, I should say. Screamer Killer. Ugh. Yes, look at him. He's fearsome and lovely. And so one thing I've noticed is that usually minis look smaller on camera than they do in person. This thing is actually like large. I <laughs> You know what? I'm not even gonna No, don't clip that. Massive. He's a very big boy. And He's I'm not even going to continue the line of thought because I know it's going to be clipped out of context regardless of what I say. Part of the Leviathan box that Games Workshop very kindly sent to me early. And we're continuing our Leviathan box coverage. So, we're going to jump in and start painting him. He has been primed in Wraith mode. Which is what I did. Rest of our tyranids. And the colour we're going to be using first is a roughly three parts Lamian medium to one part Carabird crimson mix. Okay. And we're looking to apply this over the top of oh, the soft okay. pale flesh. So this is areas such as got those here on his leg, just like this. Now, because he's so big, we can actually just avoid applying this to areas we don't really want it. So, for example, this large knobbly bit on the back of his leg. Don't really want the caribou crimson on there because that's going to be a slightly different colour. So we can just take our time here. And apply I'm going to be doing this pretty slowly, absolutely. As mentioned, that is going to be over the top of all of the, I guess you could call it the hard flesh. I think that's what I've referred to it in the past as. Look, you're so far behind. No, I'm gonna pause the video in a sec, dude. You got that? When you These guys are really good. The Viathan scheme. That sort of bony flesh area. Very, very bright bit. And then you have the softer bits underneath that. I have to catch up already. The hard bit, which is the carapace. Which we are just ignoring. So I know that this is gonna become very pink, because I watched most of this video already. As preparation here. Oh, also, I want to actually start up a timer. I want to have a timer running in the background to see how long it's taken me to like do a full painting of this thing. Uh, all right, I've got my timer running right now. Cool. You painted this model not too long ago. It's a really nice one to paint. I've noticed there's a lot of overlap between the uh, the, the the stock. Should probably take the cover off. The Starcraft people and then also Warhammer people. It's kind of interesting. Kind of fun to see that so many of you are actually uh, also interested in uh, these sort of things. Can't you just see how long you streamed painting it? That would also help, yeah. Loco done? Oh god. What did I say? So one thing I've noticed is that usually minis look smaller on camera than they do in person. This thing is actually, like, large. I... <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Very descriptive way of doing it. Uh, so I actually have a brush that I wanted to go ahead and give a try. Um, a lot of people on the internet are hyped for these things. They're called Rosemary & Co. Series 33. Um, these are relatively affordable, actually, so I'm, I wanted to go ahead and give them a shot, and we'll see if I like them. I, uh, I hope that this is going to be nice, because... These are pretty easy to come by in the Netherlands, actually. Seems like a lot of reasons why a lot of people don't necessarily want to get them is because, like, you can't really get them easily in the States. And, you know, the internet is pretty America-centric. 
So I don't see as many people from the States recommending these because you can't really get them easily, but from what I understand, they're pretty sick, so. Um, this is a two, which I think would be a equivalent of a one for like a Windsor and Newton, because the brush sizes are not the same from like company to company, but. Anyways, logo I painted Screamer Kid on model for a local gaming store event. Motivation was just to get it done and get a color scheme for the Tyranids. Ah, okay. So you, you didn't really, uh, you didn't spend that much time on it. So I don't play the game. I, I don't care so much about painting for a game. I just want to paint the minis. Maybe at some point I'll give the game a try, but I have no intention at the moment. So that done, we're now going to very... Okay, so it looks kind of funky at this stage, but this is what we're aiming for, guys. We can do it. I think we can do it. I'm a little nervous to start painting this, man. <laughs> Proper nerd. So, 3 to 1 Lamian Median. Medium, brother. And a... 3 to 1, yeah, Karaburg Crimson. So, I have both of those over here. Should be easy. Trust the process. Exactly. That's what we need to do. There's a hair in my water. I think there was a loose hair. So there's a brand new brush. Okay. We should be all right. There's actually uh, a lot of daylight currently, man. Daylight really messing up my uh, my color balance. Hey, yeah, yeah. It's okay. Just paint over your mistakes. I guess I can do that. Uh, so I have a bathroom towel over here. Bathroom towel may be OP. Um, the idea behind the bathroom towel is that I uh, didn't get a pallet. <laughs> and I had bathroom towels, so that's what we're doing. Uh, if you do have any feedback, by the way, for these type of streams, let me know. I'm always looking to uh, try and make my stream better in general. But uh, especially with this new setup over here, I'm definitely interested in hearing your thoughts. No, I did shake them already. I shook them before the stream. We did some, we did some shaking. A little bit of shake it. Less yapping, loco. Alrighty. Jeez. What's going on, Watopia? Hello. You joined in at the perfect moment, dude. It's actually a couple of loose hairs. Yeah. I guess that's okay. All right, guys. The first colors. Huh? Can you believe it? I don't want to make it too pink, I guess, but... Gotta be a little careful we don't, you know, remove any color out of the brush. I saw that Kalaris was actually, uh, so Kalaris kind of inspired me to get started with mini painting altogether. I saw he was thinking about streaming some as well, which sounds pretty fun. He, uh, he's been streaming, or he has not really been streaming much in general, but, um, be kind of fun if uh, more nerds from the StarCraft world end up streaming in the Warhammer category. I think that'd be pretty sick. How long do I estimate this is going to take? I have honestly no clue. So I'm basically just gonna follow along with the video step by step and we'll see how it goes. I also do a lot of uh, yapping as somebody in the chat just said, right? So I don't really... Uh, I'm not just gonna be doing uh, painting the entire time. Now there are gonna be some angles that will be quite tricky, I guess, to reach. Like for example, the backside of this leg. I can cover up any mistakes relatively easily, but if I mess up, I'm just gonna cover it again with Wraith Bone, which is the color of the base paint, I guess. And then we can go from there. Should be all right. There are going to be a few angles that will not quite be available, I don't think, on camera, but I think the camera setup is 
decent enough to a point where I should be able to get most of it within the frame. But if I like move my mini out of the frame a lot, please let me know. Cause I am a noob. We get some music with lyrics? Ay, ay, ay. Never been done before on my stream, dude. Insane. What's going on? Hello, hello, Rumpus. Of course, Tyranids. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do like the Tyranids a lot. And I'm still a Zerk player, man. Plus, this makes easy clickbait for the StarCraft crowd, too. Not to be underestimated. Never underestimate the clickbait, guys. There's gotta be at least one person that's watching this because I put Ultralisk in the title. What's up, Rumpus? Okay. Guys, we have finished the first section. Well, I mean, the first layer of the first section. That would be Miloka, Ultralisk got me in. Yeah, yeah, you normally never watch, do you? They did do an Ultralisk size reduction with one of the most recent patches, absolutely. I uh, see audio okay, by the way, or is it too loud? I do like having a little bit of background noise, but... You're not here daily and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds good? Okay. And it's disturbing behind, but yo, y'all love to say it's worse in your mind. Still, I'm searching to find something that's bigger than So, you want to try and only do this like middle section of the armor. It's actually quite difficult to figure out where. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, where the carapace starts and where the fleshy bit ends. I mean, I guess it's, uh, you know, you can decide whatever you like, right? With the. Uh, Miniature painting in general, you don't really have to stick to a preset color scheme, but I do want to kind of try and follow this for the most part, step by step and properly. So I do tend to, with contrast paints, I do tend to put too much on the mini. I'm going to try and not do that this time around. I'm gonna try and keep the, the layers relatively thin. Because I've noticed I, I, I don't know. Compared to the video guys I follow, I tend to put a little bit too much on there. Uh, Tyranids have guns, dude. These are like Zerg units with guns. Not this guy necessarily, I guess, but. Did I glue the mini? Uh, so this one was actually sent to me pre-built by Dialan. So I um, I did not build this one. I would have, but he apparently had it laying around and he decided, yo, loco painting an ultralisk would maybe be fun. So shout out to Dialan. He'll probably be here in the chat later. He's usually in the chat at some point. Okay. So the only downside that I've found so far with these contrast paints is that you do have to like make sure you don't accidentally get those ugly drying spots. There's quite a few of those. Um, like if it dries in a in a certain way, it can kind of look a little funky. It can look a little patchy. Now we're gonna be adding multiple layers to everything, so it doesn't really matter that much at this point, but. I do kind of have to keep moving, I guess, once I start the section, if that makes sense. How are you going to paint those spots behind the legs? I have no bro I have no clue, dude. I think the idea is that you get good. And then you paint all the angles, even when they're kind of difficult to reach. Oh, I got to be careful I don't accidentally move it off of the, uh, the handle. Yeah, I got to be careful that I don't let it dry too much. So we are going to be doing loads of dry brushing on this mini too, which should make it all like, even if there are some ugly spots, it usually seems to kind of fade when you actually look at it in the end. 
But obviously, I prefer not having... Uh... Yeah, so this is this is glued together already. Basically, these things will come on a sprue. Like a, like a plastic sprue. And... Um... At this point, it's it's one solid bit. Like it's not it's not gonna fall apart. I'm gonna need a lot more paint. When in doubt, flip it upside down. That's good life advice in general, slightly drunk. When in doubt, gotta get rid of a couple of small hairs. Okay, there we go. When in doubt, flip it upside down. Mm. Ever the poet. Ever the poet. I think I'm gonna do a double dose. One, two, three, four, five, six. Counting with loco. You're familiar with the hobby, you have two armies, but usually you don't glue it together before painting. Oh, you don't usually glue it? So you just kinda, or you paint them before gluing. Or you mean you do like sub assemblies, where you just like glue the big sections together and then glue the final bits at the end. Cause that is a pretty common way of doing things, I guess. So this one came like this, guys. I uh, I don't think we really need to do sub assemblies over here anyway, so. You paint and then you glue it? You paint all pieces first and then you glue it? Yeah. There's no right or wrong, I guess, but that does sound like a little bit of a different way of doing it for sure. I don't really uh, like the idea of that too much myself, but... In the end, you can do whatever the, uh, whatever the fuck you like, right? That's kind of the beautiful thing. Do whatever. If you like it, keep doing it. Not really a competition. Competition with yourself, I guess. It's hard to say where, like... Yeah, no, we continue over here on this little bit. So this is kind of like the middle armor because he's got some fleshy bits that are like one level down from his like middle armor and then he's got the carapace right on top of this stuff. It's a little hard to say exactly where one bit ends and where the next one begins but... This seems right to me. <laughs> you like it for your bone dragon, you haven't glued the rider? Yeah, that's fair. If you have a couple of like large pieces that you can easily glue together later, it is definitely beneficial, I would imagine. I'm not too experienced with it, but... Especially if you have like hard to reach bits, right? It's just that you have to, at that point, use super glue. Which gets a bit more messy, I guess, than uh, plastic glue, but... Okay, this looks right. Carapace, that's the word? Right, 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 right. Did I use the word carapace? I just wanted to flex with my uh, Zerk knowledge, I guess. Hope y'all are very impressed. There's guys that say carapace and then there's the rest of the world. Get on my level, nerds.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Us Zerg players have a secret language, dude. Other people would call this armor. Ugh, dude. No, 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 no. Okay. That seems to be one little lick. Beautifully pink. <sighs> nah, it's the beauty of any sort of hobby, right? I'm gonna try and see if I can reduce the amount of daylight we have over here. One sec, guys. Get out of here, Mother Nature! Yeah, freaking sunlight, am I right? That should actually help a bunch with the uh, color balance that keeps readjusting on the stream, it seems. Okay. Next leg. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Painting his butt is gonna be a bit tricky. We have to be careful about the butt section, but... I think we can probably make it work. Dude, I really like these contrap paints. Excuse me, Loco. I'm gonna have to be careful about his butt section, Brushy. I wanna tickle him with a brush. But I don't wanna do it in such a way that I like, you know, mess up other areas. You know what I mean? Beware of the butt. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is a sweet brush. I really like this brush. Last time I streamed, I tried out these uh, Games Workshop brushes. And I was not a fan of those. Maybe also because I kind of set up, as, you know, I, I decided before I started using this that I was already gonna like it. But this is sweet. What's funny is that this is basically the same price as a medium shape brush from Games Workshop. Contrast paints are so good. Dude, I really like contrast paints. So what I'm using right now is a contrast paint. And the way that this works, for those of you unfamiliar, is basically some of the paint, it's like a relatively runny one. And some of the paint will automatically accumulate in the recesses. So you can see that over here, for example, with those like fleshy parts and those darker areas that are right here. That's basically just spots where the paint runs into and it dries darker the more paint there is in that spot. So because it naturally tends to run into those locations, if you want to do this, like it's still acrylics, right? But if you want to do it with regular acrylics, it would take a lot of effort. I'm really liking contrast paints. It feels like you're doing a really good job without actually needing to be particularly great. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're doing multiple steps with one application. But you can still do the, you know, you can still do highlights and all that too. There's really no downside, really if you're not getting those ugly drying marks. It just seems like a no-brainer. If you're getting started right now anyways, and you're not quite used to. It's a really, it's a really clever uh, invention. So I had never heard of those contrast paints two months ago. I didn't know that they were a thing. but it's made it a lot of fun. The only problem, I guess, is that you don't have a lot of brands that make them. 
So in a way you kind of get stuck with Citadel. They're cheating. I love cheating. Don't tell Loran. Loran's actually out of town for a couple days, guys. Hobby cheating, hobby cheating, guys. Come on. She's uh, in London at the moment. I know. What's going on in London? I don't know, dude. No, uh, she and a couple friends really wanted to go. And I'm boring. I like staying home and painting my little plastic toys <laughs> or playing video games behind my computer. I don't really want to go out. <laughs> I'm a bit of a loser sometimes, guys, but it is what it is. I like what I like. Not gonna change it. I also get to do a bunch of traveling, I guess, for StarCraft events and stuff. So I already, you know... Not like I've traveled that much, but... It kind of satisfies the uh, traveling uh, urge. <laughs> if that's what you want to call it. Yeah. I go outside quite a bit, dude. I have to like walk to my car and stuff. Are you, dude, I am 100% implying it's okay to be a nerd, Phil Hernan. Phil Hernan is a nerd who lifts. What a fucking loser. He goes to the gym and then he picks up heavy things and he puts them back down again. You didn't have to do that, bro. They're already on the ground. I smudged the carapace a little bit, but I think it's okay. The angle here is a bit funky. There's actually some um, some tiny little claws on the on the legs. Or not claws so much, but it kind of looked like claws. It is actually very true, uh, Black Sosony, yeah. Just in general, being a nerdy dude is socially accepted. I, I was always very nerdy, but when I was in school, I had to be a little hush-hush about it, you know? No girl was ever gonna talk to me if I mentioned I played RuneScape. Now, they didn't really talk to me regardless, but still, you know? You get my point. Were there anti-nerd gangs? No, 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 not really any anti-nerd gangs in the Netherlands, where I went to school anyways. I've only seen those in the movies. The Nerd Patrol? Also guys, um, I did a, a pretty nerdy thing yesterday. 
Some of you will be proud of me. I watched the first episodes of Avatar. I have never seen the original Avatar. I know this is a very nerdy... Do we even want to call it an anime? I'm not sure. But anyways. I'd never seen it before. It's a step in the right direction. The Last Airbender, yes. Or your favorite anime are American? Dude, America, dude. Always winning, huh? Can you believe it? Is it still called anime if it's made by an American company? I don't know. The life recreation one you don't like? That one's gained a lot of popularity lately, though. Seems like people really are liking the uh, the life action uh, avatar quite a bit, but... So far, so good. There's one little tiny one that is going to be tricky to reach. Ooh, may have found an angle. Nice. I dabbed his foot, but it's okay. We'll cover that later. What's up, Macabaca? Hello. Uh, does this entire, uh, it's a weird looking tail, eh? Does the entire tail get that same pinkish color? I'm gonna have a look at the video. Yeah, it does. I gotta, I gotta, yeah, it's, it's, a. Uh, it's got a little, uh, scorpion, uh, tipped, uh, ending to it. But it is quite phallus shaped. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I will agree with you on that. I am down to make a Zerg army, dude. 100%, yeah. He's got a third leg. Yeah, but it's like a very large third leg. Dude, I had a moment this morning with, uh, with Milo. So some people came over to fix my AC in the bedroom and Milo hates strangers. He does not want to be close to strangers at all. He's terrified of them. So whenever there's anybody over in my home that he does not recognize, especially if they're wearing like those, you know, those workman shoes that are kind of heavy when they go up and down the stairs and stuff, Milo runs to the other side of my home. Like he hides as far away from the sound as possible. But this morning, he decided to sneak into my bedroom, where he's not usually allowed to go, which is where they fixed my AC unit. And he kind of trapped himself in that room because he was stuck under my bed. He didn't want to leave that spot, but he was like, you know, two meters away from where these guys were working. And he must have been terrified. I couldn't find him for a little bit. And then I checked under my bed and he was sitting right there, wide eyed, not having a good morning. Yeah, that was basically him for like two hours, Rumpus. Oh yeah, Phil. Absolutely, man. It's a long distance, but... Hey, Epcable, Just thank you! joined. Where's the live Ultralisk? My email said you were painting. Uh, I did not quite mean... to put a second layer on the leg. I think we can kind of feather it out a little bit. At least soak up most of the paint. 
There we go. Where's the live Ultralisk? Here it is. I mean, it's technically not an Ultralisk. Technically, it's a Screamer killer, but... Thank you, Afkable. Hope all is well. Okay. Gotta try and get some tidy lines over here. Try and not mess up the contrast paints too much. For these large flat areas, it is a bit tricky. Now, the video did request to put some Lamia medium into the paint, which seems to help quite a bit with the flow. Yeah, it's actually kind of nice. Normally, it always feels a bit, um, a little different. Okay. Gotta keep going on the little section here. I do have another bathroom towel. Yeah, I bought a set of 10 of them. The cheapest bathroom towels I could find. I went to the hardware store to pick up 10 bathroom towels for my little plastic toy painting. That's not pathetic at all, right? Okay. Yeah, so we did get a little bit of a funky drying spot right over here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, right above my brush. There's a little bit of like a, like a coffee stain almost. That's because I was a little too slow. 